<laughs> All right, Mike, thank you for the session today again. That was really fun. Um, it's always fun to work with somebody who's got some speed and talent. Don't get to do it all day. Um, have a lot of older ladies on the docket too. So um, it's, a, it's a nice change of pace for me. So. Okay, um, we talked a lot today about tilt, right? So we, the previous week, we'd worked a lot on the depth of your arm. And that had, I think, really good results and some things that caused some additional problems for you, right? Because we changed some of the ways we were approaching. So your previous swing, right? Your lead arm would get a little bit too high, not deep enough, more kind of in the middle of your foot, right? Um, and so on the way down, to compensate for that, to add late arm depth, right? Around here, you would start tilting backwards to shallow that club, and then you would like, like sling it a little bit from in now, right? If you did a pretty good job with it, I think you were getting kind of closer to maximizing how much better you could get at that and be consistent, right? So we got you that better lead arm depth, right? Club is a little bit further behind you. Coming into transition, the club's excellent, right? We got it kind of coming nice through your bicep in a great spot there. But you still have this artifact from your swing where you were really used to adding some of this tilt, right? So you would tilt, get the club a little bit too shallow, and then flip it a little bit. Was resulting in, uh, with your iron shots, going a little bit too high. Still hitting some pretty good ones, right? So some, some high spinny draws and stuff like that. Um, some decent looking shots. Um, but with your driver, we started to see some of, the, some of the bad ones, at least, would be the ones that would get too far stuck inside, and you'd roll over kind of a duck up, right? Okay. So today we talked a lot about tilt. We want to maintain our posture and our tilt through impact a little bit more efficiently. We do not want to add the amount of side bend, is how we describe this, in here, which, as we know, has the impact of dropping that club further in behind us and then forcing you to flip, right? So we did a couple things to address that. One of them was <laughs> you didn't like because you're not very good at it previously, right? We've kind of added this alignment rod in because if you do what we described there, if you add in a lot of side bend here and flip your hands, man, this thing's gonna whack inside, right? So using that as a, as a tool to help remind us, hey, we need to stay in our posture, cover this club with our chest, allow our right shoulder to kind of swing through this way, club to exit nice and low and left. Um, we didn't get that, that side bending result, right? Um, the other thing that we did was kind of do um, a little bit of that preset drill, right? So we had to kind of get in here in your posture, get in what our impact position should feel like. You tended to hang back a little bit and still add a little bit of that side belt. I had to bend you in there a little bit, make sure that pressure's forward, um, hips starting to turn around and come in here, then reset to our normal swing, then go and try and repeat that feeling. Um, and when we start seeing that ball, you know, come out a little bit lower window, feeling like we didn't add any of this bend or tilt in, that's when we started to see some success. Um, obviously, we still have some calibration to do with where the face is, right? You're just gonna fuck it up sometimes, to be honest with you, man, right? We just, you don't own it yet because you were used to bending in behind and then flipping in a certain amount, right? Now that we've got that staying in our posture a little bit better, we cannot drag that face around with us as we continue to turn. As we turn, we need to leave that face a little bit more out to the right. And you're just gonna have to practice, to be honest with you, to figure out how much do I need to leave the face open? How much am I turning? It all has to be kind of synced together and that's just gonna take some balls. But the overall concept, I think we, as we moved on in the rest of the day, started hitting some drivers, I think you saw some good success trying to make sure we can al not allow this head to collapse behind, this side bending to occur. We got those flippy ones. Once we got it, you were reminded, trying to feel like your head is down, your lead side, your left shoulder, your left hip was staying more down. Man, we hit some really good rockets. Um, that I thought were really successful. So overall, good session, man. Still, you know, got some work to do, but man, I really like the look of what's going on here. So enjoyed it.